Welcome back to our Sekiro 100% walkthrough. In the previous episode we took out the Corrupted Monk and in this one we're going to be doing some quests and taking out the Guardian Ape. My name is Azavar or Azza, now let's get into the video. Okay, so we want to push on inside this cave. And there's a key item at the end, so we have to pick that up to push the story forward. So pick up this shelter stone, that's what Kuro wants. So we'll take that to Kuro a little bit later. And in the previous episode we also gained the ability to swim and breathe underwater. So we're going to take full advantage of that. Essentially with that at any point in the game, if there has been some water, it's usually a good idea to go back there and explore underwater. In most cases, there's items and stuff, so that's what we're going to do. We've got some precious bait there. Gonna pick up that bad boy. I'm just going to explore some more underwater sections just down here. Also a prayer bead coming on up very, very soon. There's a carp scale there. Sometimes those fish will swim away and hide. Don't worry too much if, you, uh, if that one gets away. It's all good some coin purses down here. Pick those up. Some red carp eyes there as well. Those carp are savages. Uh, so the, the uh, carp that swim away, they're the ones that will give you the scale. And the ones that attack uh, they won't give you the scale. They're just aggressive fish. Uh, so we've got a little bit more to explore just up here. So we're going to jump up, bag the pellet. There's a really important upgrade material up here as well. So make sure to bag this. Otherwise your uh, prosthetic upgrade skill tree or I guess your prosthetic upgrade tree will kind of get stuck uh, without this. So it's the item just here, which is Pine Resin Ember. So make sure to pick that up. Uh, I think there's an item up the top of here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yeah. So that's all that for now. Then we're going to go back to the idol. We're going to go and pick up some more prayer beads. Uh, you can also go and talk to the basket head uh, NPC that was in Mibu village if you're interested. So in the previous episode we talked to a guy that had a basket on his head and he was kind of uh, giving us some information about the village and stuff like that. And like I mentioned these waters here are the rejuvenating waters. This is a uh, Ashina's power, essentially. The power to uh, revive. Uh, it's this guy here that had the, the basket. He, he goes full blown Mibu village on us at this point, so just feel free to give him a quick, uh, quick one too. Don't think he gives us anything too crazy, just a little bit of sand, so that is that. Uh, next, we're going to go to Senpo temple there's a section where we can jump down and now we have the ability to go underwater we can get an extra prayer bead uh, so travel uh, senpo temple grounds there's also a key item in here as well that you do need to get one of the endings so make sure to pick up this uh, to pick this item up in order to get one of the endings as well 
So dive on down. So this is the key item here, Holy Chapter Infested. Pick that up, and then we've got some prayer beads here, so grab that. Got a few more side quests that we need to push forward as well. We've also got to go and talk to Black Hat Badger to push his side quest forward. Let's go do that. So travel and at the minute I think he is at the old grave idol. So we're going to go and talk to him. And after you talk to him and then kind of like exit his conversation it should it should push his story so that he goes to Sampo Temple. So he's currently here. So you can talk to him. Uh, we've bought the Iron Fortress and the Anti-Air Death Blow. Uh, I might pick up some Yashiriku actually whilst I'm here. Might use that later. And then he says, that's it for me. Um, I'm done here for now. And that's him. So we're going to go and find him at his next location. Which is kind of like at the start of the Senpo Temple area. Let's go do that. Uh, travel and then Senpo and then the first one, I believe. And we'll need to use our uh, puppeteer ninjutsu in a minute. So he is. Oh, here he is. So you can talk to him here. Huh. So you made it out this way too. You? And what are you doing? over there? There's no way to. If you had a shit. But it ain't. There's an. If you could. The thing ain't. He talks about that kite over there, so we'll do that bit now. There's quite an important item over there as well. So we do need that item that we're, we're going to go and get over there for one of the endings. So make sure to put your puppeteer on. Give this guy a poke. There we go. Use the puppeteer. He's going to go and uh, fly a kite. Let's go fly a kite. Up to the greatest height. So that's that. And then we need to make our way up there. I wonder if he's got some different dialogue here. First time I've seen... Not that. <laughs> Thought I'd finally see you crack us in with that. All right, thanks, pal. Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, so he's essentially saying thank you for putting that kite up there. Uh, so we need to actually go and use that kite. If you want to get some extra items, you can uh, take out some of these monks if you want to whilst we're here. It's up to you. Give them the quick uh, pat on the back. That'll do. I uh, just want to check if we got a light coin first from earlier. We did, so that's fine. Might be one item over here. Okay, so I'm just going to head towards where that kite is. Yeah. There we go. And now we can jump towards the kite, grapple across. Got some uh, snap seeds there. Grab that. So 
And I believe this is just a, a jump and a grapple across to uh, make your way across here. I don't think there's any items down here as, as far as I'm aware. some upgrade materials there. Uh, drop on down. We should find him somewhere around here. Here he is. Well, well. If it is, did you take care of your business? That I did. Oh, whose grave is this? This? <laughs> it's, uh, I see. After the little run passed away. He's talking about that he went to uh, visit his son's Experiments, rejuvenation, kidnapping, uh, grave here. Or is there his child's grave? Well, I think so. I guess it's about time I had... Oh, you probably think... Oh, you know, you know. She's a rat, though. Mm. You were. And that's that. He talks about an upcoming attack on Ashina. So be careful. So uh, something is afoot. So grab the idol there, and we can drop on down. There's an item here. Balloon. And we've got a key item. Coming up. Just here, so just walk to the end, jump forward, towards the head. And uh, we grab this serpent heart here as well. The uh, fresh heart. That's a key item that we need for one of the endings. There's a few I items just uh, popped around here. Uh, nothing too crazy, I don't think. There we go. That is that. We could technically check the water down here. So now that we've got the underwater technique, there is a water section just here. Might get some carp scales in here, some random items. Upgrade materials. Some catching sugar. And like I say, it's just a case really of kind of just re-exploring some of the uh, water areas that you've visited earlier. A bulging coin purse there. Good for the old bank account. Carp scale there. I think there's maybe one or two more items. I uh, got one there. Yashiriku sugar. Always love a bit of Yashiriku. Some carp scale there as well. Uh, so that is that for now. Pop a cheeky rest at this idol. Uh, other than that, I think we're going to head towards the Guardian Ape. There might be potentially one item that I have overlooked at the start of Senpo Temple, so. Just for the sake of covering that, let's go and pick those bad boys up. And then we're going to head over towards the Guardian Ape. I think there's a couple of items just underneath this bridge, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so Gatchin, Sugar times one, and a balloon. So I just wanted to uh, grab those to show you those. Other than that, let's uh, go back. There's a couple of different ways that we can take out the Guardian Ape. I'll hopefully get a chance to show you uh, 
what those different ways are. See if we can spend some skill points uh, before we go into this. Next, I'm going to try and work my way towards Shadow Rush, ideally. Um, I'm not sure if we will get Shadow Rush by the point that I do want to get it, but uh, I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to go for mid-air combat arts for now. We also need to get all of these. So travel. And we're going to travel to... I believe it's... The Guardian Ape is actually at this one here, this valley, but we're going to go to Riven Cave because we've not actually uh, fully explored the area kind of like leading up to the ape. I don't think we've upgraded the gourd. I uh, don't think we've handed in the gourd seeds either, so we probably should hand those in before the ape. Yes. We'll do that in a minute. So yeah, we're just going to grapple on up. And... Uh, this place is like littered with like random items and lots and lots of monkeys. Many, many monkeys. There we go. No time for monkey business today. Uh, so I'm just going to basically loot and shoot here just uh, run around loot shoot grab all the stuff and quite interesting uh, sort of story with this area here this is where the sculptor uh, did a lot of his training in this valley Some snap seeds there. So some of the uh, dialogue options with the sculptor. He'll talk about uh, his ninja training, like running around this valley uh, with the monkeys. And I believe he also had a love interest. So I think there was two of them. running around this area. Sculptor and his girlfriend. Just going to go ahead and use the old uh, mortal draw, I think, for these bad boys. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Uh, so like I say, just, just uh, looting, shooting, slicing, dicing in this area. Nothing too uh, wild, really. Some upgrade materials. It's just uh, a case of really like looking out for some like ledgers that are poking out and some random items here and there. If you're feeling brave, you can also take on these, but sometimes they're a bit spicy. I'll give it a go. Mortal Draw is your friend here. And the frames uh, go a little bit weird here as well, because obviously there's a lot of monkeys. There's many, many, many monkeys. Some would say too many monkeys, but... You also get some monkey booze for doing that as well. Uh, some upgrade material there. Not too much more, just a 
few bits and bobs. But uh, we can also treat the sculptor to some uh, sake. And then he can give us some dialogue about uh, like his uh, his training and stuff around this area. He talks about his uh, his love interest. I've got something down there as well. I wonder if we can reach that from here. Let's find out. We can. I'm not sure what the best way is to get down there. Ah, there's a grapple point, I see. Uh, one ungo sugar. I think there's one more item. Maybe we got the other item in a previous episode, actually, just over there. That's usually on that ledge. So if you have missed it, check that ledge down there as well. Uh, just in case you've uh, missed that one. Okay, so, I think that kind of clears that up. So let's go and use the Gourd Seed, and then we'll take on the boss. So I've got to go and pop the Gourd Seed to Emma. There we go. There is something I would like to add. Yes. The Sakura Tree. You mean the... It is a Sakura Tree. So it's a Sakura tree. Yes. It was constantly, however, it withered. Why? There was a perk without its flowers, eventually. I uh, give God seed. As they talk, they talk there about a uh, Sakura tree. And uh, a part of the Sakura tree has been uh, cut off. This power is said to repeat. Let's say to goodbye. Okay, let's just talk to Kuro one sec. See what he's got to say. Somebody stole a part of the Sakura tree, the divine Sakura tree. As you wish. My lord. Oh, oh what? Yes. So it's yes. a sweet breeze written on the old bridal. What? It was you know it's sweet. Lord he talks about getting uh, some of the ingredients there that you wanted. Yes. It is, however, in Lord Genichiro's court. And it appears for now. Now then. Talks about finding out a way that he can actually um, do damage to himself and uh, make himself bleed, which is part of the immortal severance, which he wants to achieve. Talks about the mortal blade there as well. Uh, so, should be nine uh, healing gods at the minute, which is always good. And let's travel to the uh, Guardian Ape. So, Sunken Valley and then Valley. Okay, so the setup for this, we could go for Yashiriku, or we could also go for Akko Sugar as well. Um, slightly different uh, approaches for this fight. But essentially, we're going to be using Firecrackers, Mortal Draw. Uh, we don't need Ash or Snap. We will go for... We'll put some sugars on because uh, what you can do is if you use Yashiriku sugar uh, and you want to cancel off the effect of Yashiriku sugar, you can actually use a different sugar to cancel it off. And that will also, obviously with Yashiriku, it will put your health uh, back up to full again. But we've got a quick way of doing this. Sometimes not so much. Uh, what I'm hopefully going to be able to do is like show you different approaches to this fight. 
uh, the quick way and the slower way. Well, let's give it a go. Sometimes this can go very wrong because if you, I'm going to be using a Yashiriku and some Divine, uh, but if you get hit, obviously when you got Yashiriku on, it pretty much one shots you. So it's a, it's a, quite painful. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, so Yashiriku and Divine. You may get one shot here, but. Uh, We'll go for it. Actually worked. Um, so I didn't get a chance to show you much else with that one. But essentially with that, that was Yashiriku, and then just going in with the Firecrackers and the Mortal Draw. And that basically pops his posture up to full, pretty much straight away. Uh, I was hoping to get to show you a bit more actually, but... So jump over that attack there, run back when you see him do that strange wiggle thing. This is for phase two. So parry, parry, parry that. Ideally I want, I want to pop a Akko as well if I can do. So if he does the strange wiggle, there we go. Uh, then run back. I'm actually going to put some Akko sugar on the... Uh, hot bar. Got a fair amount of that left, so it should be fine. So sometimes he jumps forward and you can jump over his sword. That bit, just parry, parry. Just going to do as much damage as we can do there with, with the Akko and the Mortal Draw. If he does his wiggle, pull back. Uh, jump for the Perilous swipe, parry, parry. Uh, if he does that, you can sort of like go around the back of him. One, two, three, four, five, and then usually five attacks. You can get in from the back there. If he does his wiggle, run away. Uh, hopefully, he'll do the jump forward where he can jump over it. No, he's not doing it at the minute. Parry, parry. Could have popped to Akko there, but that's fine. Just gonna do as much damage as we can do. Probably gonna wiggle. There we go. You might do. That's what I wanted to show you. So if he does that, you just jump and attack twice in the air. You can do two attacks whilst he's doing that kind of like belly slide thing. And that's the fight. That is the fight. Um, so, ideally, I wanted to show you a little bit more of phase one of that fight. Uh, so, if that is something that you are interested in seeing, uh, then definitely be sure to let me know in the comment section. And maybe that's something that I can cook up uh, so I can show you a bit more of the phase one section. We also get a slender finger here, which is a prosthetic tool, which comes in very, very useful a little bit later. And there's a section here I just want to show you over here. Where you can jump in the water, dive. It's actually a cheeky little item here, precious bait. That comes in useful uh, a little bit later, so make sure to pick up that precious bait. And then we've got an idol, and we have another key item just behind the idol. So make sure to grab this and rest. And for this episode here, we shall wrap that one up. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.